Hello, my name's Bert. I'm the editor of Pro Detailer magazine. And in December, we bought out our issue six, which is a JDM special. And I just wanted to do a quick run through of what's in there. Uh, a lot of people have got the magazine and we've heard lots of great reports from it, which is brilliant. It's, it's really nice when you put in so much work to create these magazines. And it's not just me, there are plenty, there's a big team behind who all do little bits and we all stick it together. Um, and so it's brilliant when people say, yeah, that was, that was the best read yet. Um, so I just want to give you a preview really. Um, the events section, as ever, we start with news and events, uh, and we covered Waxstock, surprise, surprise. Waxstock in 2017 was one of the biggest, if not the biggest Waxstock ever. Um, and more than that, it was actually a really, really nice atmosphere. It was really easy going, lots of interesting guys were there, and I think an awful lot happened. It was, it was, it was a good day uh, at the Rico. And do remember, Waxstock 2018 is 22nd of July at the Rico, so make sure you're there if you can. Uh, another big event, um, admittedly marginally bigger than Waxstock, uh, was SEMA in Las Vegas, and that was sometime in November. And uh, Russ, our man in the USA, our features editor, went over there, as did Ram at Colorlock. And so we've hybridized their photos and comments and articles and stuff into a single article about SEMA, uh, which again is well worth a read, particularly for the most of us who can't afford to go and there ourselves. Um, and one thing about SEMA is obviously the release of new products. And so this time we've got a super large new product section, and I've divided it into uh, the kind of the genre. So we've got wash products, we've got decon products, we've got correction products. Uh, this is correction products as it happens and we've got uh, new compounds from Angel Wax, new compounds from Shoal, Sonax, uh, a new Car Pro clear cut um, and various other bits and bobs like the new battery powered flex machines. Uh, not that we could find out much about that because they're yet to hit market um, and some Rupes machines as well which are very lovely. Um, so, as I say, the new sections, we've got a couple odds and sods pages that we put at the end for stuff that I simply can't think of a category for, uh, but again, they're quite interesting, even workshop flooring. Um, the guide section, we've kicked off with Alcantara. Now, Alcantara and Suede are different. Suede once wandered around a field and mood and all the rest of it. Alcantara is a synthetic product that was originally designed in Japan, as it happens, but the rights to it uh, are now Italian. Uh, and a lot of people have got it in their car. It used to just be on, you know, flash Audi RSs and stuff like that. Now uh, you can have it on, I suspect, even a Super Mini. So looking after it is now even more relevant. Uh, and Ram at Colorlock has given us a nice guide on how to do that. And it's nice and compact, only a page long. Uh, so it's, it's not an effort to get through. A longer article we've got is on tire cleaning, which has been done by Vinnie Van Rouge, who's our man in Holland. Uh, he's also the distributor for uh, all Netherlands people. So if you're in the Netherlands and would like a copy of the magazine, you can get it without having to pay big postage charges. Um, and it's a fascinating article. And he even went to Vodrestrian, the Dutch tire manufacturer, and asked their advice. And we've got some interesting comments back from them, not least that they're not a big fan of shiny tire dressings. Um, so the showcase and write-up section. We are obviously doing a JDM special, so it's mostly Japanese metal in there. And one of my favorites, and it turns out the reader's favorite, is done by Afagula of Motorshine. And he had an R32 Skyline, which is, you know, the best Skyline, in my opinion. And um, it was a full restoration detail. So even polishing the key, taking bolts out the engine and polishing those up and putting them back in again. Uh, it was a brilliant attention to detail example. Um, so have a read of that. Um, everybody who's read it so far has been fascinated by it. Uh, then we have a new venture in this magazine, a project car. Uh, Betty is her name. She's a Subaru Legacy. So as anybody who knows about Subarus will realize it's the best car in the world. Um, and we've gone all around the country as part of a YouTube series that's going to be coming out very soon. Uh, and we've done all sorts of bits and bobs to her, as well as put together lots of guides and, and video tips and stuff like that. And this is lighthearted. Uh, there is detailing in there. We've done hydro dipping with DMC. We've done headlight restoration uh, with Daniel Kiff. So there's lots of bits and bobs in there. But this one is uh, me and the sub editor Ian having a bit of fun. Um, in terms of writing articles, obviously. Um, then we've got uh, Dutch detailing. So we've got a DPS, a double page spread, on um, uh, the detailing industry in Holland, written by Vinnie, and it's fascinating. They've followed a fairly similar route, be it with different products and different ways uh, to the UK industry, uh, but it's a nice little history lesson, and it's fascinating uh, just how similar we are to the chaps over the water. Then we come to the most popular, by a margin, most popular article in this edition, which is an interview with Larry Casilla. Uh, he's 
exceptionally famous online. He's probably the, the most famous detailer in the world. Um, and uh, he also has Ammo NYC, the range of products. So this is really more of his sort of life in detailing story and his background from working in, in kind of places around the White House uh, to um, setting up his own business and his own brand. And it's just fascinating how it all happens. So uh, it's definitely one to read. Uh, he's also a proper petrol head and he's not one for hiding a car away in a museum. He likes to drive his cars. He's got a black 964 you might know about. Very, very nice car. Uh, I mean, not a Subaru, but you know, good nonetheless. Um, then we get to the Mega Test. Now, the Mega Test on paste waxes, uh, as you know, has been going for 12 to 18 months now. And we took it to Autoglim and we tried to do some weather testing in their UV machine and it didn't go quite to plan. Um, so we've done quite a lot of destructive testing. Now, who better to test it than John Hogg, Dr. John Hogg of Angel Wax? And we were back in November, we went to the NEC Classic Show and we bumped into Dr. Hogg and Matt Yates and started chatting. And I said, look, you know, we really need to do this, this mega test. And I just, um, I, I'm out of ideas. We're sort of lost. He said, well, why don't you come to Scotland and we can do some tests in our lab? And I was like, this is brilliant. When do you want me? And he said, tomorrow morning. So we jumped into Betty and, and hurtled up the, uh, up the M6. And so we spent then two days in Scotland doing some really fun things. Again, it's all been captured on video as well. Um, so you can catch up with that too. But the answer is we have completed that mega test and the next one's going to be on leather and new car protection products. But I don't wanna to give too much away at this time because we don't know. Um, so if you'd like your copy of the magazine, it's £4.75 delivered uh, to anywhere in the UK, anywhere with a postcode. And uh, we also have distributors in America, Autoality, and Vinny uh, in Holland. Uh, so while we offer international delivery to anywhere, if you are in America or Holland, you're much better off ordering directly uh, from them. Uh, we'll put all the links and stuff at the bottom of the video. And it just leaves me to say thank you very much uh, for listening to this video and for subscribing to the magazine and, and, and reading the magazine and all your feedback as well. We will have plenty of competitions and interactive stuff happening for the next edition coming out in July. Thank you.